Interactive orals are genuine, unscripted two-way conversations designed to verbally assess students in an authentic workplace or professional scenario that synthesizes and applies acquired learning and skills. To support use of interactive orals, DCU formed a collaboration with Griffith University Australia, who have over six years' experience in research and design in this space. One thing I'll say about the interactive oral is that it's slightly different, obviously, than a normal assessment process. It's a little bit more challenging at the beginning, but there's help from a community of practice and experts internationally, and it's, it's very creative. What I enjoyed most about the interactive oral is it didn't feel like a high-pressure exam situation. Rather, I felt like I was talking to a business associate rather than a traditional examiner. The main challenge for me was getting the rubric right. Initially my rubric was really detailed and um, I mean it still needed to be detailed but it was a little bit all over the place in terms of structure so I had to go back to it and tweak it and make sure that the structure of it followed the flow of the conversation of the oral and in fact I let the students know that there would be a particular structure and I just made sure to sort of have that then ordered in my rubric like that. For me the principal benefit was that I was able to showcase a wide variety of knowledge in a manner that a traditional exam wouldn't have allowed me to do so. I did this type of assessment because I wanted to get away from traditional type of assessments. I wanted to simulate a real uh, authentic scenario where students they will be discussing competently contemporary issues on sustainable aviation while at the same time I do assess their competence and expert uh, knowledge in the subject matter while I create a stress-free environment for them. It allowed me to showcase my learning by placing me in a fictitious real-world scenario where I needed to be a subject matter expert. Not only did I need to know the information, but I also needed to communicate it effectively and authentically and also to back it up when challenged on it. So the use of the interactive oral gave me great confidence and felt like I really was prepared to go into the classroom to use the technique and also I got to participate and had the opportunity to engage in really informal and professional dialogic conversation. If you are interested in learning more about this work or in joining our community of practice, please feel free to contact us.